you get this really nifty feature that Blue Willow has. Uh, when I create an image in it, I get my normal sort of interface. I can also delete any generations I make. But when I upscale, often I get these arrows attached to the images. And if you're not sure what those are, they actually enable you to extend the background. So if I actually go here and choose the right arrow because I want to add something to the right, I can do that by clicking it. And you can see I've been given some options on what I can go with as I extend it. So once again, if I actually go ahead and decide to extend the one again, whichever one I think is the best, probably this top one, upscale number one, I get a wider image. Now the thing that, one thing that does happen is that you can't actually extend again. You can only extend the first time. But there's nothing stopping you from going back up to the original extending to the left. And then you can take, say, the first one again and upscale that. And there's nothing then stopping you from taking these images into something like Photoshop and combining them. So in Photoshop, I now have both images. What I can simply do is take this first one. And because I've already got the left extension there, I want to add the right, is I just simply go to image, canvas size. I move this little dot here to the left. And I'm not exactly sure how much it's extended it by, so I'm going to make it about 3,500. So it's a bit bigger than it should be. I then go in here, hit Control A, Control C, or Command A, Command C to copy and select all, copy, paste. And what I can do now is I'm just going to make this semi transparent, zoom in and line it up. I bring it back to full opacity on my layers panel. And I don't even really have to blend it. You can see here that the line's actually pretty seamless. But if I want to be 100%, I can start to see where it is breaking here. I can just grab my eraser tool, make sure I keep it nice and soft, bring the size up, not too big. And I can just sort of softly paint in around where I think it would blend the best. And now I can hit Control on this layer to select it. And then I'm gonna grab my selection tool, hold down shift to add to that selection. So I've got this here and then I go image and crop. And now I've got a wider image that I've made in Blue Willow by extending the background. But don't forget, you can also simply play with your aspect ratios. I can also use my aspect ratios by typing in imagine, pasting in my prompt going dash dash AR three to two. And now I've got some pretty cool images that are already at a wider, wider aspect ratio. So I actually don't have to extend these as it is. I can use these already at this aspect ratio. So let's upscale number four. Now it's already wider, but I can extend it left and right. So I'm actually going to do that and see how wide we can take it. Again, I upscale the ones I like. I like number one. I like number one again. I do the same process again in Photoshop. I paste my image. I move this one over. Keep in mind that the generation in the center is not identical. It's just very close. This time I crop again. And now I have a very wide image because there are limitations to what aspect ratio you can use. I've tried four by two in the past or two to one and it hasn't worked, but three to two does. But there's also another interesting thing to learn about this. If I go back, this is our, uh, this is our original widened image. And if I go to image size, Blue Willow produced this, now that I've widened it, it's extended it to 3072 by 2048. But when I go back to the other one, it's actually 4096 by 2048. So we've got the same resolution in height, but we actually gain more resolution in width by adding to the aspect ratio. So with Blue Willow, it actually does increase the resolution of your images by changing that aspect ratio. So a nifty feature, one I thought is worth having a play with. Uh, Blue Willow is getting incredibly powerful these days and uh, sometime in the near future, I'm gonna try version four, which is just released. But uh, keep checking back for more updates. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you again next time.